with this question, we do have a few more questions on the next slide. So here we've got um, this one and this one, and then we've got these two over here. All right, some decent questions here. Four marks, five marks, three marks, four marks. Pretty decent. Ivan received his home insurance calculations. Study the statement below and answer the questions that follow. Okay, so SASRIA stands for South African Special Risk Insurance Association. Okay, Ivan received his home insurance calculations. Okay, so let me explain. Um, one day when uh, you have a house, you could ask your parents about this. Um, sometimes you have to have your house insured. For example, especially in places like, um, I don't know, like California, for example, in America, where they often have fires. Now, they're going to ask you to have your house insured because if a fire breaks out, well, you need to have insurance because otherwise, yeah, you need to get paid out, right? So sometimes your house can have insurance. So SASRIA is a state-owned entity that provides coverage for damage caused by special risks such as politically motivated strikes and public disorders. Write down the total premium amount, including VAT, in cents, Give your final answer in words. Okay, write down the total premium amount. Okay, so here's the total premium amount. It already includes VAT. Okay, so they're actually just asking us to change this to cents. Okay, um, yeah, so write down the total premium and then give your final answer in words. Oh my word. <laughs> okay, so 5309.21. So we know that if you have a one rand coin, that is the same as 100. Um, let's rather write it like that, sorry, 100 cents. If you have uh, five rand, well, that's the same as 500 cents. So to go from rand to cents, you multiply by 100. So to take this two cents, we just multiply by 100. So we're going to say 5309.21, multiply by 100, and that'll be 5309.21 cents. I'm going to write here cents. Now it says write it in words. So when you write it in words, I have made a video on this before, but what I always tell learners to do is break, start at the back and break your number up into groups of three. So if you originally had this, then start at the back and break it up into groups of three. Okay, so that's gonna be five, three, oh, and then nine, two, one. So what you do is you write this number out first. That's an easy one, 530. Just that number, 530, so 530. Okay, then you look at how many digits are coming after that. So how many digits do you see after that? Three. Three means thousand, so just say thousand. Okay, so we've done this part. Now you just go write out this number, 900 and 21. Okay, that's it. And then we should probably say sense because, yeah, sense. Okay, express the admin fee as a percentage of the total premium, including VAT. Okay, so just look at this carefully. You've got a homeowner's building price, then they've got a SASRIA price. Okay, so if you add those two numbers together, that gives you the subtotal. Okay, then there is the admin fee, which goes over here, and then you get your total. But now you gotta be careful. So there's a little catch here. This number is excluding VAT, but now all of these are including VAT. So we need to quickly add VAT to this over here. So I don't know why they don't mention this, but yeah, this was in 2023, so the VAT is 15%, okay? Um, so remember, to add VAT onto a number, you multiply it by one point and then one five because it's 15% VAT. So we're gonna say um, 4529.86 multiplied by 1.15. And to two decimal places, that'll be 5209.34. So that is not this number. That is um, this number over here, 5209.34. Three, four. So it's just this number with VAT. Because you can't do a calculation with these two and these two and these ones or those ones when some of them have VAT and some of them don't. So what we've now done is we've said, okay, that's the price with VAT. This is the total price. 
So then we can see how much must this be? Because we know that this one plus this one gave us this number. Then we just added the VAT on. And now we just need to see how do we go from this number to this number, or sorry, this one, and that must be the admin fee. So we can now say 5309.21 minus 5209.34. And if we subtract those, we get. And so that would be 99 Rand 87. So that would be the admin fee. But now we're not done. They want us to express the admin fee as a percentage of the total premium. So here's the total premium and here's the admin fee. So remember, if you write a test out of 50 and you get 31, 31 sorry, out of 50, how do you work out your percentage? You take the total at the bottom, what you got at the top, and then you multiply it by 100. So here we can say the total at the bottom, 5309.21, what did you get? 99.87, because that's the admin fee, times by 100. And if we do that, we get 1.88%, 1.88%. Determine the monthly premium to the nearest rand that Ivan will pay. Okay, let's just try to understand that. Ivan received, study the statement below. Oh, this is an annual premium. Okay, so this is the annual, that means per year. That is per year. So it says determine the monthly premium that Ivan will pay. So this is what Ivan pays per year. So we will just take that number, 5309.21, divide that by the number of months in a year, which is 12. And that would be 442.43 Rand. Now they said round it to the nearest Rand. So the nearest Rand is going to be 442 Rand. And then this last one says determine the total VAT paid on this policy. Okay, so the total VAT paid on the policy. Let's have a look. Well, you see that, now I was a bit confused when I saw this because it's for four marks. So the memo went and did this whole long calculation, but I don't think they realized that you don't have to go work out each one, for example. We know what the total is. That's the total, 5309. 0.21, and we know that, remember that those formulas I've showed you, to add VAT, you multiply by 1.15, to take VAT away, you divide by 1.15. Right, remember these formulas here. So we already have the VAT, so we wanna take the VAT away, so we're gonna divide that by 1.15, and so we're gonna say 5309.21 divide by 1.15, and that would be, um, 4616.70. Now that's not the VAT, that's just the price without the VAT. So you just minus these two numbers now. So 5309.21 minus 4616.70, and that'll give you 692.51. And that is exactly the answer that they have on the memo as well. Now, if you do a question like this and you have a simplified way of doing it compared to what they did, they will give you the marks, okay? Because they maybe didn't realize when they were setting up the memo that there was a better way. So they won't penalize you for doing it um, in a more elegant way.